日本ニュースタイムへようこそともこです And we are on good、uh, morning, afternoon, or whatever, wherever you are, give me a flick man viewers, it's Victor with ともこです And we're doing a Skype news、uh, kind of、uh, interaction here, we're trying out with you,、uh, trying to keep up with things fast, it's hard to make videos because we're not always in the same room, so we're going to try this Keep you up to date with what's happening in the world, in our world at least.、はい um, it is snowing today. So, today, it's snowing. It was really snowing. It was snowing last night. It was beautiful. And it is beautiful. Snow is beautiful, isn't it? But unfortunately, we have to work. They didn't close the schools. <laughs> right? But, um, but uh, actually, I, I want to talk about a couple things today. There is a Nepalese, there are a couple Nepalese cases, of Nepalese men, people from Nepal. Mm. Nepalese always makes, makes me think of nipple. Nepal. Nep, nip, ah, nipple. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is serious. This is serious. This is serious.、Hi. Okay, two cases. Okay, First case is kind of an old case that I never got around to talking about, but it's actually very interesting about、mm. a Nepalese man who was arrested for murdering and got the death penalty, I believe, for murdering a Japanese woman who worked for TEPCO, which was in the news because of the Fukushima, the, the disaster、mm-hmm. stuff. By day, she was a, a businesswoman, but at night, she was a prostitute.、Oh. And they found some of、um, uh, his DNA on her, and he was apparently one of her customers.、Mm. Um, if he was initially given the death penalty, then they realized, well, maybe, maybe we're wrong, so they gave him only life imprisonment. And then they find out they did a DNA test, and I think it was January 21st. I'll put, a, like I said, links in the description here. This is not the main issue. Issue today, but he is Nepalese too, and so I, it's something it just reminded me, right? Because I was researching the other article, which I'm going to talk about in a second, and I found this,、uh, I, I was reminded of this old case. But the latest on the old case is, and it's a very interesting case, it really deserves its own video, but it's a little bit old.、Uh, is they found DNA on him, but they, the prosecution does not like to admit they make mistakes, they have made mistakes, just like American prostitutions, you know, prostitutions, no, prosecutions, <laughs> Pros-、uh, <laughs> prosecutions,、hey. and Uh, they're insisting that he was the last person with her, so they're still trying to keep him in jail. We'll、mm-hmm. see what happens.、Uh, best of luck to that guy.、Mm-hmm. You know, from all, the, from, the, from all that I've read about him, the, the, the feeling is that there's a lot of doubt that he was the, the killer. Anyway,、uh, there's a story that appeared in the Japanese news and,、uh, and, and I guess English media as well, but is getting very little coverage about a Nepalese man who was killed in Osaka just. Two weeks ago, right? And you didn't hear、ah, about this.、Mm-hmm. I didn't hear about this. It hasn't been reported anywhere, and I don't know why.、Mm-hmm. And it's the kind of thing I talked to you, Kadi, about this, and she's like, don't talk about that. It's embarrassing. And one thing you'll know, notice about Japanese is they're, they're kind of, they feel personal, they have more of a group think.、Mm-hmm. So you feel, Japanese, you right, Tomoko? You feel guilty about things. Japanese. <laughs> Um, they feel guilty when they talk when, some, when one of them does something bad to one of us. It reminds me about two years ago, Peruvian. I'm, I was born in Peru, right? But I'm American. I'm American.、Uh, where's my flag? Anyway,、uh, a couple years ago, a Peruvian man was arrested, I think it was Hiroshima, for killing a little girl, a little Japanese girl. And one of、um, the Spanish students at our school came up to me and he said, Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's terrible. Don't you feel guilty? <laughs> どうぞ。You know, like what America did during World War II, Hiroshima. You know, my family wasn't even in America yet during Hiroshima. But anyway, that's getting off the subject. Let me tell you what happened t h i s this guy. He's from Nepal. He came to Japan 10 years ago. And there's a short, very short article on him in English, but a long article in Japanese. And what I did is I'm linking both in the bottom. And I've gone through and translated very loosely the Japanese article to tell you about this because it's not being reported anywhere.、Uh, and I'm, I'm going to go mostly from memory because I already translated this. Oh, the dog. Let me get this. What's up, Maggie? Come here, come here, baby. Okay.、Oh, well, I'm shooting a show over here. Do you want to say hello? Okay. Maggie! Maggie! Okay, she was just sleeping. Ah, Maggie! There she is, yes. Okay, that's exciting. I'm trying to do something serious here. Okay, you French, right? Anyway, so, 
January 16th, he's walking home. It's about 4 a.m. And he's walking two of his employees home. He's a, he owns a restaurant in Nepal. He's married to a Japanese woman. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And um, this, this, is the, this is the unclear story. I don't know how, much, how many of these facts are true. But there's four Japanese mm. walking by. Two girls, two guys. Mm. And one of them slipped and fell. And as a result, another one of the Japanese thought that he either tripped, he tripped that, his friend, so they start beating up on him. <laughs> okay? Now, this guy's 42 years old. He's apparently a big guy, uh-huh. right? Um, and he has always been a very good citizen, he's respected, you know, pillar of the community kind of thing. Mm. He's always told his, uh, he's always been a counselor to the other Nepalese uh, immigrants in that area. He's mm. always told other foreigners, I, I got to close the door, it's cold. Just a minute. The is escaping because Maggie came in. But he's always told the other Nepalese, don't uh-huh. fight, don't fight with Japanese, you know, always obey the law, mm. that kind of stuff. Um, and, and at the time, he was suffering from a bad back. He's got, he's a bad back, right? His bad, back is bad. So these are the facts that I'm throwing out there because I want you to get a background of this guy. This is the kind of guy who doesn't cause trouble mm. and actually um, has encouraged other, other immigrants or whatever, like myself, other foreigners, to, to obey the law and mm. not be like me who jumps in. and <laughs> Don't be like Victor, right? So this guy... Uh, he, um, he was beaten to death. They kicked him around like a soccer ball. I'm, I'm going to go through the article real, right quick. They kicked him in the face many times. They threw a bicycle at his head. And the trigger was apparently that one of, them had, one of the four had slipped and fell as, he, as, he, as they walked by. And like, like I said, one of the other uh, Japanese thought that the Nepalese man had tripped him. So he was kicked all over the place like a soccer ball is the Japanese expression. The guy's name is Damara. Damara. Mm. And he owned a restaurant in Osaka. He was married to a Japanese woman. And this article says that it shocked many expats, but I never heard of it. And I called like 10 other guys in yesterday in the, in the J-Blogging mm-hmm. community. None of them had heard anything about it. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, so it was terrible. Now, his wife, this, this article in Japanese is kind of written from the point of, of view of his wife, whose name is Yuko. Mm-hmm. And um, she, she still can't believe that it happened. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, the employees that he was helping don't speak Japanese. They don't know that in Japan, we don't dial 911. Mm-hmm. In America, you know, it's 911 mm-hmm. when you call the police. In mm-hmm. Japan, it's... Hyaktoban. Hyaktoban. Hyaktoban is 110. So, so they didn't even know how to call the cops, so they called her, and she mm-hmm. went down to the police station. Now, she couldn't really understand what was happening. She goes down to the police station she's looking, looking for her husband. He's not there. Mm-hmm. She hears over the police bat, uh, scanner that um, his heart has stopped. Mm-hmm. Like they're talking about him. He's been taken mm-hmm. to the hospital and his heart has stopped. So he died mm-hmm. at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, she's kind of in shock. She still can't remember any of this clearly. Oh, no, no. The big mystery is why didn't he run? Why didn't he fight? And they suspect it's because his, his back was bad. Mm-hmm. Um, they took the body back. They took the body back to his hometown, which is, looks to be called Katomanzu. Katomanzu. And, yeah, and they and they cremated the body and threw the ashes in the Ganji River, ah. which is what he he said he wanted. Those they were respecting his wishes. Those those were like his uh, his wishes. Whenever he, I guess they had this conversation. You know, when I die, I do this. But um, the funeral was was you know, held on the twenty first mm. of January, mm. and and his ashes were scattered into the river. 500 people came to the funeral. So this guy was a well-respected guy. And apparently he, he met his wife while they were on tour in... Uh, she graduated from college. And in Japan, mm. when you graduate from college, you have this... Sotsu, what's it called? Sotsugyo Ryoko. Sotsugyo Ryoko. Which uh, translates to um, trip, what, graduation, vacation, graduation trip. Mm. So she was on her graduation trip. So they did that. Right, and they, they met there. And mm. two years later, they got married. I guess they met and they started you know, exchanging letters and stuff. Mm. Uh, by the way, if you're serious about a relationship, I'd say taking it slow like that is a good way to go. That's the way my <laughs> brother. That's the way my brother married his wife. He met her. She was my student, actually. He met her, and then <laughs> they, <laughs> they they exchanged letters for a long time, you know. And then finally, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So um, so during during the while they were in uh in um, back in Nepal, mm. she got a phone call. Yuko got a phone call from her parents telling telling her that they had actually captured the four suspects. Mm. So she was at least able to tell his parents that, you know, at least the, the police have somebody in, in uh, 
you know, arrested. Mm. But, um, and she, she still cannot understand why this happened. Mm. And, and she can't find any reason for it at all. Mm. Right. The, the, the witnesses say that there was two, he was walking two employees home when he was suddenly attacked. The two tried to resist, but he stopped them. He said, don't fight them. Don't fight the Japanese. So they attacked him. They ran away. One of them went to a convenience store and called the wife and the other one, um, well, maybe they both, I don't know. I don't know what happened with the other one, but one of them ran to a convenience store and the other one called the wife. Okay. Now, after, um, after someone dies in the Hindi religion, the mm -hmm. 13th day is apparently an important day. And that was just January 28th, mm -hmm. which was just what, this Monday, I think. Mm -hmm. So they had a special memorial for him and they put, you know, they put flowers there and uh, lots of his Japanese, and here in, here in, they had a kind of a memorial service here in, not, well, here in Japan, you know, in Osaka. Mm -hmm. I'm not in Osaka. Mm. And uh, they interviewed some of the, the reporter here interviewed a few of the people mm. in the area. And they said that, um, they interviewed a fellow Nepalese who said, I really feel sad losing a fellow countryman. I hate the four killers, but I know that they have parents and I'm sure they must be said to also lose their, they must be sad to also lose their sons and daughters because those mm. are, those four are going to jail, of course. Mm. One crime causes sadness for a lot of people. And this is the way we Nepalese feel. Mm. Yeah, so very sad story. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you about this for two reasons. Uh, one of them is it's not being reported, mm. right? The other reason is in the past on this channel, I have uh, shown myself getting involved in kind of violent mm. scene. Remember, remember Tomoko when I jumped on that guy? Ah, right? then you might get it. Um. Yeah, so that's... that's um, you know, it's it's a debatable thing. Like I said in the video, don't mm -hmm. do that. That's stupid, right? Mm -hmm. But this guy didn't defend himself. Uh, you know, well, we don't know. We don't know what happened. I'm not, I'm not pointing any fingers. De mm -hmm. Definitely, I'm not you know saying anything about this. But but Japan, you know, Japan is not is just like any country in the world. There are human beings in it, mm -hmm. and sometimes human beings do things you just can't predict. It is safer than most countries. Mm -hmm. Much you know, much safer than most countries one of the lowest crime rates in the world, but this kind of stuff does happen. It is not completely safe. So you got to be careful. Of course, you know, you're walking around at 4 a.m., mm -hmm. you know, in, a, in a 4 a.m., maybe a bad neighborhood. I don't know. One of the guys was a tattoo artist. So I really want to ask uh, one of the other YouTubers, his name is Unrested. I haven't heard anything from him for a while. He's making videos again, though, but he's, uh, he's really into tattoo. I, I, I just wonder how, how small that tattoo artist world is. Maybe he knew the guy. I don't know, but... Anyway, I just want to tell you guys about this story because it's not being reported anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what will happen to the four killers. Uh, you know, in, in Japan, basically, the death penalty does exist, but if you show that you're really sorry, mm -hmm. they usually give you life mm -hmm. if, you, if you admit to it. Anyway, that's, that's the news story that's been occupying my mind recently. It's just, I'm just so shocked that it's not, not being reported in the news. Uh, so cool. nobody, has, nobody seems to know anything about this. But. Mm -hmm. My condolences to the family. And, um, yeah, you guys be safe out there. Yeah, there are strange people everywhere, right? So, you guys, you guys be careful. Anyway, that's, that's the story for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um, I'm just going to upload this with very minimal editing. And you guys tell me if you like this kind of uh, occasional story. Yeah, feel free to leave criticisms, because this is our first time to do this kind of reporting uh, commentary. On, on Skype and the internet. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be back soon. Thank you. Another story. Bye bye. Bye bye.